Good morning, you guys. I'm opening in Bangkok. Bangkok. Today I'm opening in Hong Kong. It's actually our first real day because we arrived yesterday. We only had the evening and we didn't know where to go to. We're looking for a place where we could eat. We actually found one and it was called, was called Bake. Well, handbag. A place called Bake House. When we arrived, the line was so so long this is probably the longest line i've ever seen in my life so we just skipped it and we are now walking around trying to find something else we're in the harbor area so it is very different than from where we are staying which is Monka. but it's really really cool to see i'm just falling in love with this place it's it's really incredible so let's go let's do some fun things and i'll share the prices as well so let's go we are entering right now like the harbor area and oh my god it is so crazy beautiful i can't tell you how beautiful this is and we didn't manage to get here uh, yesterday evening because i think when you see this with the lights on it is crazy at least from what i saw from the pictures but look at this I'm not sure if this is the place where you can also cross, but it should be somewhere here. We have something that is called Avenue of Stars. They all have their handprints so you can compare your hands, for example. But it's like a very funny and cool... I'm not gonna put my hands in here for the germs, but... But people are really taking pictures, so I feel like these are probably celebs, celebs, but like this is, for example, Miss Maggie Chung. Uh, she is an actress from Beauty Queen to Best Actress in Berlin and Cannes. So they are also international actually, I just don't know who they are. So it is around the 30 degrees today, but I would say that it's still manageable. It isn't super humid. Somehow I, I have the feeling it's going to be because we're only out for like an hour or something and I'm wearing like a full on skirt, but it's very doable. And that is because the sun is not out, but we're walking to K11 and I think it's a museum, but you can also eat inside. So. That's what we are gonna do. We actually came here by bus. One bus ride is around uh, 6.7 Hong Kong dollars for one person. It depends on where you're going and which bus you're taking, but public transport is extremely, extremely affordable here. so cute because we are at the top of or I mean not the top but probably one of the the terraces on this building which is K11 and I it's a museum but it also like a mall and places where you can eat and for this one we actually went up to which is called Bohemian Garden and we had breakfast at Elephant's Ground it's quite hidden so you really have to go through the mall, different sections to get up to come here. On the seventh floor, so I feel like you have so many floors to go still and it's pretty high. In total, 350 for breakfast. So we had two avocado toasts, 
cappuccino large and also a pot of tea. And outside you actually have this pet's garden. So a lot of people do have dogs here and whenever they go inside of malls or restaurants they have to carry them with like a stroller. So a lot of dog owners are walking with strollers which is funny and cute to see. And the dogs are all so incredibly cute. Uh, most of them are, up until now, I think we've seen the same breed, which is like the, the doodle combination. So toy poodle or uh, labradoodle, etc. Mostly toy poodles. I'm gonna ask if I can take a picture of them because that is crazy <laughs> cute. <laughs> so as you can see, this is like the whole rooftop area, but it goes still up i'm not sure how many floors it has because the building has different sections as i just said but the outside area is just accessible to anyone so you can just easily come here we finally found the elevator because otherwise you really need to go through um, the whole mall because otherwise you won't, won't see the background. But anyways, uh, we are right now at the boat. I would recommend to get an octopus card because if you have an octopus card, you can just skip the full line and just check in with your card and then stand in the queue because otherwise you just need to stand in line to buy a ticket, um, which is going to take longer. And I don't know the price difference, but when you have an octopus card, it only costs like 3.9. Uh, which is like almost 50 cents to cross the, the, the river and you get like the amazing views and the boat is really wide and big so let me show you around now at central Hong Kong and uh, what makes it super convenient on this side as far from what we are experiencing now is that you have these bridges just like the sky train in Bangkok for example but then without the train and it basically connects you to everything so you're just crossing the a part of the island without having to cross the streets so you can just walk from place to place building to building in the shadows so it's quite doable instead of just walking on the streets and waiting for lights to turn green and it's basically connecting shopping malls and other buildings with each other so this is super convenient and easy to walk now at the center of Hong Kong Central and this is Hong Kong Island. It's really really cool to see this area as well. It's packed with shops, skyscrapers as you can see and also extremely crowded and busy with people but it's a, it's a very cool area to walk in. I mean the streets are incredible. I have the feeling that everything in Hong Kong not only on Hong Kong Island, but also uh, the other side. The streets and the colors are so vintagey. I don't know. It feels like a filter has been applied without really having a filter. I don't know how to explain it, but it feels like a little bit more old, but still modern. And it is very beautiful to see. I really, really, really loved Hong Kong so far. to the rescue because anytime we just want to eat something or we want to drink something you have to pick between so many locations where you can sit and drink so usually 7-eleven is just um, 
the place where we always go to and just buy whatever until we find something where we can totally sit. I have to say it is quite hot. So we just came in for a refreshment, but also really wanted to try out the dim sums, which are popular this year. And the first thing that we ordered is like an iced tea. So I do have the yellow tea. Gal has like a green tea. These bottles are bottles that you can take home with you. It's uh, five euros per bottle. Okay, so this is really going to be our first dim sum ever. I'm also not the best at uh, holding. It is very slippery. So everything at this place is vegetarian. So this is vegetarian beef. I really don't know how to eat this. Let's first take a bite without soy sauce. Oh, this is actually super clever, eh? Who ate it is? Bruh! Mmm! Oh, that's very nice. It's also kind of a familiar taste or something. Smile on noodle wrap. Noodle wrap not good for I want to try it with soy sauce. The outside is a little bit bland without like a taste, so that is why I think it would be better with soy sauce. This is really good. So you get two pieces of dim sum for 48 Hong Kong dollars. Wil je nog meer bestellen? I think that you just have more of like I never expected it to be vegetarian because they eat a lot of pork and chicken, beef, etc. So it was really nice to have found this vegetarian place. I never expected it to taste like this, so I really like it. Approved. The peak tram and as you can see it is right behind me but in order to enter you either need to have like an octopus card again or you need to buy one and again two separate lines quite a line as you can see but it's going super fast so that's not the problem and you can just buy your ticket online which is around which is 108 Hong Kong dollars per person you get this card because you need to cross the road and then Join the queue there again. the peak tram and now we are at the peak and here you can also buy like a combi ticket or a separate ticket to go to the sky bar or to the sky area which is a little bit more up and then you can see all the views but I feel like already coming up here uh, and through the building you can already look over the city which is really nice but we just came outside of the building and there you have a square where you can eat stuff, you can sit, you can walk around. Miguel is now going to get like, again, the nigiris from 7-Eleven. We had to stand in line for 
quite some time actually to go on the tram. We're just going to rest, cool down a little bit. As you can see, we are quite high all the way down there. It's a little bit foggy, so you can't really, really see that much. It's not super clear, but you can walk all the way around. The fuse with the buildings is on the other side, but you obviously need to see this when it's night and you can see all the lights on, etc. But we don't have time to wait for that, unfortunately. Okay, we did find um, something to eat because they didn't have the nigiri from 7-Eleven. So we found another place where we could eat something. But unfortunately, it was really, really crowded. So there wasn't really a place to sit. So this is a, a cheese toast, completely filled with cheese. And it's super soft bread and it's only on one side. So the other side is plain. Mm. Mm. This is really nice, really soft. So this is what the cheese toast looks like. It's very, very soft and it's only one-sided. Mm. It's funny because everyone is looking at how I'm filming. We also have this, which is like a coconut roll. And they also had it in chocolate, but I mean, these were almost gone. So I thought, okay, if everyone is taking these, then probably uh, it must be good. It's gonna fall probably, but it looks like this. It's like a pastry cake kind of stuff. I hope it's not gonna fall, but it could be. Mm. Oh my God. Oh wow. Mm. Wow. This is so good. I'm gonna leave half of this for Miguel, but it's so good. It's like super spongy, as in the cake, and like a very subtle coconut taste with cream. And then we bought some milk tea. I don't remember the name and it's in Chinese, so I can't read it. It's milk tea. I don't know what flavor. And this was only 28. It's a taste that I don't really know what kind of taste it is. It's definitely milk not with chocolate, maybe a very, very light coffee taste. So we came to the lookout point and it's really, really beautiful to see. You can see the skyline and the water, etc. But this is like a free lookout point. But it's extremely crowded, so if you want to have a good picture, you probably need to go up there, which is like the, the paid area where you can go. I would recommend going up there if you want to take a picture because it's extremely chaotic and uh, wild up there, at the free spot, I mean. So it's a little bit undoable to take a picture if you want to take a picture because it's really stunning to see though. restaurant which is called Veggie Kingdom as you, can, as you can see here. The reason why we came here is because we really wanted to have some dim sum. Came all the way here and unfortunately they only serve dim sum as lunch. But everything on the menu is vegetarian so that is great because as I said the options for vegetarian food aren't super big. 
We also got some green tea. I think this is from the house. They just directly ask if you want to have this or not. We saw one person behind us put this on their spoon and then in the bowl and eat it with chopsticks. But I don't think we will manage to. Very delicious. I'm trying to eat this with chopsticks, but it's not really gonna work. But it's it's super tasty. The flavors are so good. Refuse were really good. That's also the reason why we came here. We ordered something else, which is the wonton organic tomatoes and wonton soup. It's boiling hot. I'm really curious to what this tastes like. Never had wonton before. Mmm. Wow. It's like indeed the tomato soup, but it's super sweet. Mmm. Oh wow. You also taste like the mushrooms because there are also mushrooms inside. Really good. Rice dishes, I knew that I would eat them, but for example, the dim sums, that was definitely totally something new. For example, this soup, oh my god. Well, that was so, so, so delicious. And the total was only 270 Hong Kong dollars, which was like 31 euros in total for two people uh, with the tea and the two dishes, but it was so good. And for the dim sums, he was completely booked for tomorrow already because they're super popular, but we are still gonna try and see if we can get a spot or maybe take away or anything. So we came to this dessert shop and it's a very popular one. It's like a dessert that we don't know because it's it's liquid, it's hot, it's like a soup. So we tried or we asked for the recommendations and we have one hot one and one cold one. And we're very curious to try it out. So this is the cold one, this is the one with mango and I have to say it doesn't look super delicious. It is super liquidy, like soup, actual soup. There are also pieces of mango inside. Mmm! Mmm! Oh, wow! It's actually like fruit, but liquid fruit. Mm. Soup, but it's like cold, as if you're drinking fruit, but a little bit more thicker and also with like the bubble tea bubbles inside, but then smaller, but it's really delicious. Wow. Okay, so this is this is the next one. And this is made from walnuts and it's a hot one. It does, it does smell kind of heavy, but let's try. Wow. It's, uh, it's very thick, it's thicker than the other one. And taste-wise, it's a little bit heavy, I would say. Mm. You really have to like this one. It's not my favorite. The one with mango was super fresh, super delicious. This was also a very popular one, but it's not necessarily my kind of taste. Smarty. Smarty. Uh, the quality is so lelijk. Mm -hmm. 